Now, another idea that's been suggested to me in recycling is, well, why not just take battery cells that have been used in other jurisdictions and then use them in India? And the reason we can't do that is what we've described over here in Slide 16. So we, our team at Benchmark, went out and did a study where we talked to consumers and producers of vehicles in India about what characteristics they would like to see in the battery cells that are being used to power two-wheelers and three-wheelers in India. And we found that there are a few characteristics that you need to succeed in the Indian automotive battery market that just may not be true. So first of all, once again, the metric that matters the most is cost. Everybody talks about dollar per kilowatt hour cost everywhere in the world, but it is especially valid here in India. Like cost is gonna be the most important objective measure that's used. But then after that, it's what you said, solar irradiation is high, India is a very hot place, and the temperature operating range of the battery matters as well in India due to that. The battery management system that you need for a two-wheeler or a three-wheeler, the swapping capability that you need for two-wheelers and three-wheelers necessitates a very different design for an Indian automotive battery application as compared to a Tesla design, for example. And this is getting into my sidetrack moonshot of like, this idea of Tesla and Arkimoto working together and that Tesla could supply, like I've always had this idea of like, would it make sense for Tesla to make an equity investment in Arkimoto, um, supply them with batteries in the powertrain, as opposed to partnering with some other car companies competing with them directly, partner with Arkimoto, who's in an adjacent vehicle category, um, you know, which is, uh, they're like, okay, that kind of makes sense on paper, I guess. But then you think it through of like, well, look at India, the Model 3 and Model Y are not going to do well in India. But an Arkimoto, like two to three wheel vehicle is exactly what will crush it in India. So if Tesla doesn't have to do any of the work, but if they were supplying the batteries and powertrain, you know, Arkimoto can do its thing and set up a factory in India. Like this is a perfect sort of example if you think it through of how an Arco Arkimoto or Tesla going into this smaller form factor of electric mobility has huge potential and they're leaving a lot of money on the table and a lot of their mission on the table by not being able to build a product that addresses the Indian market. Like that's what I'm really seeing right now is nothing in their segment, maybe Cybertruck to do deliveries and work in India would be awesome. But like the, Tesla doesn't have a product to address the Indian market. And that's where I'm like looking at this and I'm like, man, like Arkham, them partnering with Arkimoto and helping giving them the technology to do it makes so much sense. Could be, it could be that they partner with Arkimoto once again, I don't know. So if that is a conversation that's ongoing, that would be very exciting. If Tesla puts out a two-wheeler or a three-wheeler, that would be very exciting. Right? Yeah, I, mean, I think that's it's, sort it's of where possible. I'm going with this. this it's like, Tesla's still a some... company that's only 17 years old. There's still so much that the company can do. Electrification as a trend in India on the Indian roads is still only 10 years old. There's still so much that can happen in terms of business model innovation. Yeah. And it's like when you think about that atomic unit of Tesla, which is that battery, you know, that's why I said it's like Tesla's developed this technology that takes so long to be monetized because even though, yeah, the Model Y and Model 3 aren't going to do well or don't matter for India, the cheapest, most efficient, most sustainably, most easily recyclable battery cell is exactly what India needs, whether it's in a two or three wheeler, whether it's in the power pack or power wall, um, storing your energy, like the solar roof technology, like these are all uh, things that Tesla's developed that could be massively monetized in tapping into this geography.